So anyone who's used Keynotes, which is most practices these days, will have a database that they use and they'll quite commonly stick with it. Um, there's still going to be generic notes, there's going to be notes that might be in master spec. So they always have a custom, their project specific one and their master spec specification. So what happens, since we're going through the full tutorial here, let us actually install master key because that's up yeah. for discussion right now. Cool. And I'm going to uninstall it just so I can demonstrate. So when you launch the Cadam installer, you get these three options. Now this is for um, offices that don't allow their um, drafties to have internet, mm -hmm. um, and this is to backset everything. So. You just leave it the default. I wish to install Academy's tools, and each customer will have their own login. Everybody that has ArchiCAD 18 already has this installed on the computer. That's okay. the beauty of it. So we'll log in, and what will happen is it'll go to ArchiCAD 18, My Tools, and Master Key will be there. Now they won't have it, so instead of saying uninstall, it will say install. Now what this technically does is it goes to C Drive, Program Files, Graphisoft, ArchiCAD 18, Add-ons, CAD Image Tools, and it adds this add-on here. So it just puts that extra into the ArchiCAD folder. Now, now that the customer has installed it, we have to open the palette, the thing that they've just installed, to log in to MasterSpec, and then we can import master spec notes. So we'll create a new project. Once they've installed it, they access the palette from the window menu because they're going to open an additional little window. And it's called a palette. And it's the very bottom one because it was the last thing installed. Master spec, master key. Now they'll be presented with the most simplest of dialogue is this because it doesn't give them any of the building code or standards mm -hmm. um, out of the box. You need to log in. So this is your login. This isn't the Academy one. I'll just log in using the email that now we should see. Cool. Once you're logged in, we get the reveal functionality. So we have standard, which is basically a HTML link that takes us off to my spec website. That's loading away. Same with my products, that takes us to a website. Every single one of these is also a hyperlink, but it takes you to the relevant building code. So if you double click one, it will take you to building code, documents F6, and now we can actually go straight into them. Now, once you've logged in on this master key, it will unveil a new option when you click import in the Keynotes palette. We can close this or we can snap it underneath. We did design the palette so that it could sit neatly alongside the Keynotes palette so they could work in conjunction with each other. Now in the palette, when we click import, we get this dialog. If you don't have master key installed and you haven't logged in, when you click import, you'll just be brought straight to this dialog here, the you know choose the database dialog. So now when we hit import, we do a master spec project. It knows we're logged in because we've logged into this palette and it shows us all the notes we've made organized into their status now from there you can search or we'll just double click I one it takes about three to five seconds and brings in all of the notes organized as per next gen 2 we're not allowing people to only bring in certain notes if you've built a specification you bring that entire specification in. there's no way to fudge it so we click OK and they all get brought in now you'll notice, I'm going to close this just so we can see the full palette. You notice that this has a globe. If I import the other option, which was the company standards, this one here has a little house. So this is local to my computer. This is straight off master spec. So people will likely want a combination of the two. The main reason for that is because you cannot modify any note in here. 
if I go in and find this note here, Harmon Pacific Boards, you'll notice that the keynote editing is completely grayed out. So you cannot modify it, you cannot add new notes to this, so you can't insert, modify or delete notes within it. All of it must be done throughout the next gen website. So the same principle of placing, you just double click the note, it will activate the label tool, it will activate Catavid's keynote label and it will fill in this information and then we place it the exact same way. Um, same option if we want, we can turn on title and we get that. We have done some updates to the tool so that when you have enormous keys, the title automatically offsets itself. There is an option in here to put on a frame that's quite common. So if we put on a rounded corner frame, and I'll choose a different one, the frame automatically fits itself to the note. There is another way where you can manually resize the frame. So this guy here says shrink to fit text or fixed frame size. If I choose this and click OK, I'll place a different note. It places the right size, but then there's two pink spots, and this allows you to offset each column width. So I can organize a bit neater. Instead of this being tabbed in, I can say that mm. everything past this line is the title, and everything past that line. So you can start to set it out a bit more. Um, now, if you did want notes that aren't available on NextGen or are non-specification notes, you must do it up here. So once you click it, new becomes available, this becomes available. Down here, both get grayed out. Pretty straightforward. Um, after that, all the methods are the same. Placement will be your independent, associative or attribute note. So link to the element or link to its properties. Creating schedules is the exact same method. Um, obviously the information that we get from master spec at the minute is just the key and a short title with an option which is controlled on your website, refer spec. So the customer can modify that. There is no spec reference or title as yet. So you'll still go to master spec and print off the full specification list. Let's, we'll go ahead and place a bunch of notes. Just see what it actually looks like that'll do now if we go to ground floor plan we create a schedule same method cat image keynotes create the schedule current layout only only keynotes using this layout it just gives us that um this object here it's completely modifiable you can choose what information is shown if title wasn't appropriate we could turn it off to bring it down to be just the keys um, after that, it's just appearance, the format of all the text. Again, frame settings, you can put frames around everything. Graphical appearance. The only difference between the project specific notes and the master spec notes is the fact that you've got to modify the master spec ones on the website, which means you've got to be able to get the notes here. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's remembered me. Brilliant. Awesome. So I, I've got this one here, I think. This one here. Now, let's go and modify something. Or, actually, let's just add a note. So we'll put something in structure, because we don't have a 3000 series at the minute. So we'll go timber, carpentry, whole building frames, why not? There we go, add the document. Now, on your website, obviously it's just gonna throw it in here. Brilliant, and there it is. Now back 
in ArchiCAD, it doesn't. So we have added this update button for Master Specs. So you just click it, you don't have to do anything. It just brings up, now this Keynotes Review Palette is immensely handy because there are three keys. Um, blue means it's going to be created. Orange means it's being modified and red means it's being removed. So whatever you do on the website, we'll actually see it. Now from that, you just click OK. It will automatically bring up this audit labels. Do you remember we got to it in here? It brings up this palette automatically as soon as you modify your database in any way. So whether you've added, modified or deleted notes, the reason being is that this just looks through the project and if any of the notes that I place has been deleted, I would clearly see 5261 deleted and I could repair and it would be removed from my project. Or if I've modified 5261, it would update it. So um, if it's been modified, you can fix it straight off the bat. Otherwise, you just close it and then that section gets added with all of its subnotes.